no because I'm actually obsessed with how cute this background is. Anyway, Happy New Year guys. I've actually not really picked up the camera that much since New Year. The one thing that I did really want to upload before it gets too late is a what I got for Christmas. If you haven't already seen my Christmas vlogs then you would have seen that I did like a little mini unboxing but I wasn't showing the gifts in the video and a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see a what I got for Christmas. Now I wasn't going to do this but since most of you commented asking like what gifts I got and also as well I honestly love these types of videos like I love watching them and not only that I think they not only give me gift ideas but I love being nosy and I love seeing what people have got but I always get more excited giving people especially like my mum and dad and my brother gifts than me receiving them oh my god this year I don't know what it was but I think it just hit me from the year that I've had it's kind of just put things in perspective and I've just really realised that just the little things matter the most and yeah, I'm going to basically show you, go through the gifts that I got. I absolutely, I must say, feel so unbelievably grateful this year. I just wasn't expecting anything weirdly. I just went into Christmas with a really blank, like not expecting anything. I didn't want anything. I just wanted to be happy with my family. And easy watch, grab your cuppa, grab a snack. Let's get on into it. These gifts are all just from my mum, my dad and my brother. When I say mum, I mean my mum and my dad, but we all know my mum basically picked them. Also as well, I've got no makeup on and I'm really just going into the new year with, you know what, I don't have to put a full face of makeup on if I'm filming a video. I hate the mentality of that, so just ignore that I don't have any makeup on right now. I just have like my lip balm on. This was actually the first gift that I opened, weirdly. So I'm gonna start with that. Now, if you guys know, you will know that I'm obsessed with the brands Penhaligons. It was like my first kind of look into fragrance. It has a lot of memories behind it and they do some of the best fragrances. I love Halfetti. When people smell me, they always say Halfetti. Now, I have had Halfetti for years. Penhaligons Halfetti is one of their staples, but when I was first getting introduced into like more of the higher end perfumes, Halfetti was one of my staple scents and everybody went mad whenever I wore it. I've actually not had it for, I think about two years now because I'm on my back of that rude height, but I've not had Halfetti in a long time. Whenever people smell Halfetti, they always say it reminds them of me. So it's actually kind of nice. It's like a signature scent. Penhaligon sell autonomizers, I think they're called, basically travel perfume and I always just keep fragrances in my bag especially when I'm going away. The very rare occasion I do leave the house I do love to have like the little mini perfume automanizers that you can just get off Amazon. I've had so many. Willow has at most of them I'm not gonna lie. I've basically gone through so many of the cheaper Amazon automanizers but they don't hold a lot and I actually managed to get my mum and my dad both their very own like Penhaligon's Automanizers for Christmas and birthdays. Mum and Dad actually went into store and got me this. <gasps> At the time they released this, they only released it in pink, blue and I think it was like a yellow. Um, I was going to go for pink because listen, I'm a girly girl. Like, can we just appreciate the colour? This is their new colour, it's in the shade Victorian White and it's basically just a white perfume travel automanizer but how beautiful is this it holds a lot of fragrance more than the ones that you can pick up on amazon now for this brand this is a really great gift because it's under 50 pound actually always wanted one so my mum saw they did white mum got it in white for me but the best thing about this is you can actually get it filled up in the fragrance that you select so I obviously am known for my health fatty smell so they actually filled it up which is such a good idea you buy it and then you get a free refillable I think for three months which is amazing when you go into store you can pick one up and they fill it up with a fragrance of your choice so I obviously picked health fatty so she is in there ready she's gonna smell amazing she is absolutely gorgeous and this is gonna be in my bag basically living in my bag like i'm sorry isn't she stunning see something that i really really wanted and needed which was a body cream my skin 
has been so dry. Like, my mum ended up getting me the Fenty Skin Body Whipped Cream. I think it's called the Body Butter. And oh my freaking god, I have already opened this. A Fenty Skin Butter Drop Whipped Body Oil Cream. Does that not just sound? It is beautiful. I only really buy mini body creams instead of the full size. I have already been using this. I've actually been using this pretty much every day since Christmas Day. Like a body cream is a body cream to me. But when I tried this for the first time, I actually couldn't believe how gorgeous, not only the formula, but it stayed on my skin for a full 24 hours, which I've never ever noticed before. And it actually worked on parts of my skin that is super super dry never thought i would get excited over body cream and this i've been using it every day um yeah spoiler alert she's amazing she is worth the price but i love her and it's definitely a formula i've never tried before i was thinking it was just gonna be a normal body cream basically a body oil meets body cream it's an absolute dream and i feel very bougie having her in my life you guys know how much i love my lizzo cleanse and glow actually been using it since it came out but i had no idea and i don't know why i was oblivious to this i definitely been living under a rock because why did i not know my favorite range from lizelle they've only got a body wash in the same formula and scent i actually had no idea this was a thing so when i opened this on christmas day i couldn't believe my mom got it it's the energizing glow body wash cleanses softer not only i mean my cleansing glow on my face but i've now got a body that's going to be washed in cleansing glow can we tell that i'm obsessed genuinely obsessed my mum knows me very well she just knew straight away can we believe that i've actually not opened or used this because i've wanted to film this video it smells it smells just like the cleansing glow and then along that theme my mum also picked me up you guessed it, my absolute favourite cleansing glow, but it's a skincare, basically a skincare gift set. And it's, again, as you can tell, I've not opened this, but I'm a very happy girl. Honestly, just give me skincare and body care and I'm a very happy girl. If you saw my Christmas vlog, then it, there was a bit in it where I literally screamed with excitement. It proves how well my mum knows me and it just makes me go, oh my God. I've literally been wearing it and I'm still excited. Can we just take a minute to appreciate that my mum got me the Billie Eilish number two fragrance? I'm, I'm speechless. The bottle, like I wanted this and I've wanted it since it got released, but I never bought it for myself. And it was one of them things that I was just gonna get myself anyway. And luckily I didn't. Oh my God, I only bloody get it for Christmas. I did not even talk to her about it. So the fact that she knew I wanted it, this couldn't be a more me looking bottle. It's, you guys know, I've already got the first Billie Eilish fragrance and I love her fragrances anyway because it's given unisex and that's kind of like my scent. I love sweet scents, but I like the kind of like unisex undertone. Now, I'm not sure what Miss Billie was doing with this fragrance because as I was talking about how fatty, I wore this on Christmas Day and I have been wearing it pretty much every day me and my mum and my dad all said oh my god that smells just like pen halligan's halfetti which is the fragrance that i was just on about at the start of the video a very expensive fragrance but the fact that she's basically i mean kind of a jew she screamed like i couldn't believe that i now have the second one sorry but the whole collection is basically gonna be happening at this point you guys know that I only really wear lip balms. I don't wear lipsticks or anything. And for my mum's birthday, I actually treated her to a Dior lip glow. I think it's basically a coloured lip balm. And as soon as I bought that, my mum, obviously I wanted one. One of them things that I wouldn't buy myself, but I really, really wanted after buying my mum one. It actually got me my own little Dior lip glow. Most of the time I don't wear makeup, so I just wear a little bit of lip liner. My mum loves hers and it's just a gorgeous little gift as well. I cannot wait to use her. I don't even want to open her because I know she's just stunning and this is so special. We all know how much I love The White Company. I have got a bit of an obsession with The White Company and anything with like dressing gowns and body care and anything snuggly. I am just a comfort 
girl. Lastly, I don't own any fluffy dressing gowns. I wear a lot of kind of thinner knitted things, but I actually don't own a thick fluffy dressing gown. Now I saw this on their website and this is a fleece short robe so it's perfect size for me you actually can get a bargain when you get them with like 20 percent off so when it's 20 percent off i basically sent my mum the 20 percent off code because she wanted to get me something that i genuinely wanted and something that i was going to use and the one thing that i didn't have is a fluffy cozy fleece dressing gown so they sell it in gray and they sell it in white and of course I got it in grey. I didn't want white because white not only gets filthy, but I'm just, I love grey dressing gowns. I've not worn her yet. I've saved her for this video. I'm popping this on once I've had a shower, washed my hair. When it's hair wash day and it's cold, I love a snuggly dressing gown as this is just the way to my heart, genuinely. Now for the gift that everybody wanted to know why I cried my eyes out on Christmas day. I have never in my life cried or wanted a gift. I've never ever been an emotional person until until my surgery last year. And let's just say, I think it's just emotionally broken me. God, I just feel like you appreciate the little things. And I know it sounds silly, but just the fact that my brother really thought about this gift and saw it and thought, yeah, like G will love that and I will get that for her. That honestly made me cry like a baby. I've never cried like that before. I got my mum and dad crying at the same time. Normally I'm not the one crying ever. So for me to cry, yeah, that's saying something. So my brother got me. You could spend so much on me, but the fact that he bought me this and thought generally like I would like this, no help from my mum and dad either, which says a lot. Only gone and got me a candle holder set but it's in the most gorgeous matte black. I mean, if that is not the cutest gift ever, I can't, like, <laughs> oh, so, so special and means a lot to me. Yeah, she is not only sexy, but it's so nice that I can go, my brother got me that gift because it's the first year he actually went out himself and bought something with the money that we gave him. And I just think the, the thought means everything but yeah that is everything that i got for christmas for 20 oh my god that is everything that i got for christmas 2023 i actually can't believe that it's now 2024 and that's when my camera decided to cut off anyways thank you so much for watching until the end i hope you enjoyed this video Feel free to comment any gifts that you also received. I'd love to know. As always, I love and appreciate you all so much. I will see you guys on Sunday in my next vlog.